else. So a variance analysis is kind of like peeling an onion. You've heard that term, right? Peeling an onion, you just keep getting deeper and deeper into it. You start off with the static budget variance. Um, then you do, then you go down further and further. So the static budget variance is what we saw there. You look for favorable variances and unfavorable variances. Generally speaking, as you're peeling that onion, this is the general model of what we're doing. Remember, the static budget, we're just comparing all your actuals against all your standards or your budgets. But what you really want to do is separate out how much of it was due to price and how much of it is due to quantity changes. So in the middle, between them, you use your actual quantity and your standard price at whatever level you're doing it. And that's the flexible budget right in there. That's the flexing. This middle piece is the flexing. So you can then say the difference from here to here is due to quantity variance, and the difference between your actuals and your standard price is your price variance. OK? This is the difference between your standard quantity and your actual quantity. Gives you your quantity variance. And the difference between your actual price and your standard price gives you your price variance. So that's the general model of what you do as you peel the onion. This is kind of the onion peeling picture. You start off with that static budget variance. You get a sales volume and a flexible budget variance. And then you take this flexible budget variance and you really dig down all the way to find out which of your materials are causing variances. Which are you, is your direct labor causing variances? And if so, is it a rate variance problem or an efficiency problem? That's the peeling of the onion. Let's start peeling. 